Modern gaming is a ray-traced open-world wonderland, but sometimes you just can't beat the classics. Here's the short story of a British studio who left their mark on the games industry for decades and the games you can still play and enjoy today. That's it, smack him right out of the dome, punch him with your spiky fist thing, you... Oh. I wasn't uh, <clears throat> expecting you there. Welcome to Rebellion, where we enjoy the finer things in life. A vintage wine, a first edition Harry Potter book, a futuristic sports arena filled with athletes in suits of armour pulverising each other under the pretense of sport. What incredible fortuity then that the Bitmap Brothers brought just such a vision to life. The Speedball series was pure 90s catnip, ultra-violent and innovative, a surprisingly rich lore lurking underneath its simple and compelling matches of weaponised ground-based Quidditch. I did say we enjoyed a bit of Potter, didn't I? The Bitmap Brothers were an important part of the games industry tapestry during the 80s, 90s and noughties and with fellow British studio Rebellion now custodians of their back catalogue, we're proud to sing their praises and journey back through some of their most quintessential classics. Games that, as luck would have it, you can play on Steam right now, hassle-free and let the 90s-ness wash over you like all those innuendos in Friends you didn't understand the first time around because you were 12. By the way, we so want you to stick around and watch more of our videos. Unlike Ross and Rachel, we're never on a break, so you get new vids every week from us. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell now to make it happen. Yes, sir. Before we get stuck into the games, just who exactly were the Bitmap Brothers? Well, unlike Rebellion's own co-founders Chris and Jason Kingsley, they weren't actually siblings who set the studio up. It began with a retail manager named Mike Montgomery, who'd been coding for his own amusement throughout the 80s and found, much to his surprise, that he'd become absolutely bloody brilliant at it after being offered a job at Popular Computing Weekly. Just ask your nan. Montgomery decided to set up his own studio and release games onto the exploding home market, founding Bitmap Brothers in Wapping, England in 1987 along with Eric Matthews and Steve Kelly. While their games would certainly help to make the name famous, the Bitmap Brothers were also masters of marketing themselves as much as their titles. And unlike many studios at the time who as employees you'd never see, they'd often crop up in gaming mags dressed in leather jackets and shades, posing almost as if they were rock stars. It helped that the studio's HQ in Wapping was on the doorstep of Britain's newspaper offices. And at a time when many gamers might only have heard of a handful of publishers and precious few devs, this one put itself on the map. Through the 80s, 90s and noughties, they put out some real classics. So let's get on to them now. Let's move it on out, soldier. Of all the games carrying the Bitmap Brother name, Speedball sits at the top for a lot of people. A fictional future sports game which mixes handball and ice hockey, and in which points are scored for either getting a steel ball into a goal or injuring your opponents. The first Speedball was a smash in 1988, when it arrived on 8-bit systems. And as the legend goes, the team behind it hadn't even seen Rollerball until after the game was out. We'll let you be the judge of that one, but even if it doesn't have James Caan bleeding all over the place, it's still a complete vision of a cyberpunk future where we've become so desensitised to violence that this passes for leisure time. It was surprisingly tactical for its day too, with power-ups around the arena and players in different positions possessing different stats. Deep stuff for the 80s. Speedball 2 Brutal Deluxe came along in 1990 and refined the formula for the 16-bit era upping the player number on each team from 5 to 9, and adding gorgeous detail to the graphics, in which Mark Coleman and Dan Malone created a distinctive look to all Bitmap Brothers games. Numerous sequels followed, including Speedball 2100 on PlayStation in 2000, which made the leap into the world of 3D and numerous remakes on newer platforms. Speedball 2 HD, which you're looking at right now, is available on Steam and gives you the definitive version of an all-time classic. Even if you never booted up a game of Zed in the 90s, you probably recognise this cigar-chomping drill sergeant who happens to be made of metal. 
He was everywhere in 1996 when the Bitmap Brothers released their own sweary, freewheeling version of the RTS, a genre only recently popularised by Command & Conquer at the time. And in a way, Commander Zod here neatly summarises what made it so special. Yes, the strategy was banging and the multiplayer battles were memorable, but like the studio itself, here was an RTS game brimming with character. Its cutscenes were peppered with gags, the language was worse than a parent trying to put their kids Lego together, if you unlock the sweary version that is, and the tactics were deeper than just resource gathering and building an army of whatevers to roll in and crush your enemy. Zed went 3D2 in 2001 with the release of Steel Soldiers, and in this new world of polygons and shadows, the humour and character prevailed. So much so, in fact, that like all the games on this list, people are still pretty passionate about it today. Good news then that both Zed and its sequel Steel Soldiers are available on Steam today. Good work, Commander, but there ain't no time to lose. We may have won this battle, but we sure as hell ain't won the goddamn war. The Bitmap Brothers also dabbled in dystopia way before it was cool, or so close to real life that it's practically biographical. In the Chaos Engine, players pick two out of a potential six mercenaries in a top-down adventure where they're tasked with taking down the Chaos Engine, a powerful machine with the power to corrupt time and matter that's turned against its creator, transforming humans and animals alike into ravenous beasts. It's brilliant run-and-gun fun, which definitely won't fill you with a sense of dread for the day the Alexas finally get tired of us constantly asking them the weather outside rather than looking out the window ourselves. It was later remastered for Windows and Mac, allowing the two-player aspect to be played remotely, so if you couldn't convince a parent or partner to play with you from home, you don't have to rely on your second mercenary to be controlled by a computer, because that's exactly what they want. Exit open, level complete. Brothers Bitmap, thank you for all the good times. That's it for now, but remember to check out these titles on Steam if you fancy a retro fix, and throw a giant metal ball right at that juicy red subscribe button to make sure you catch our videos every week. Tell us about your favourite memories with the Bitmap Brothers back catalogue down below, and leave us a like if you enjoyed what you watched. Until next time, keep it.bmp, baby. Only when our victory is complete, we'll